Okay, Algebra 2, here we go. We're going to compile all the factoring stuff that we've done this week. We are going to factor with two terms, three terms. We've got dots. We've got leading coefficient of one, leading coefficient's not one, GCF, everything into one set of problems here. So first, let's make sure we understand directions. The left side here is factor completely. So your answers for these will be sets of parentheses. That is factoring, okay? The right side, five, six, seven, eight, these are solved by factoring. So you will first factor, and you'll have the sets of parentheses, but your final answers will be x equals. So you need to know where you're going before you even get started. Okay, so if we look at this chart here, this can kind of walk you through all this stuff. So the very first thing you look for is a GCF. You take that out. If there's two terms, it's probably dots. If there's three terms, and the leading coefficient is one, it's a multiply add, and if a leading coefficient is not one, then you're gonna check your smiley faces. That's your trial and error. So, write this down, keep referring back to this. This will give you some guidelines on what you're using. So, number one, the first thing we look for is a GCF, and both of these have a common two. So we're gonna take out a two. We're left with x squared minus 16. 16 is a perfect square. So that factors into 2, make sure you leave that 2 out front, don't lose it, x minus 4, x plus 4, and we're done. Number 2, number 2 is 3 terms, no GCF, but we have this negative out front. And we can't factor with a negative out front, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it out. It's kind of like a GCF, we're going to take out the negative 1, which leaves us with x squared minus 2x minus 24 because we're taking out the negative 1. Now we can go ahead and factor. This is three terms. It's a leading coefficient of 1. So this is a multiply add. We're going to multiply to be negative 24, add to be negative 2. Feel free to pause as you're watching here and attempt these on your own before seeing my demonstration of them. So that's going to be x and x, it's going to be 6 and 4. We want a negative 6 and a positive 4. Really important that you don't forget to keep that negative out front. Number 3, number 3, we have 30, 5, and 5. Well, this has a GCF of 5, so we're going to take a 5 out here, and we're left with 6x squared minus 1x minus one. Don't forget the one here if you take out this whole number. If you divide out, if you undistribute a five, you're left with a one. Okay, so this is not a multiply add because you have a leading coefficient of six. So this is a trial and error. This is where we're going to check our smiley faces. So for six x squared, our options are three x and two x, or six x and one x. And then for one, these are definitely going to be one, so those are set in stone. So now we have to figure out if it's 3x and 2x or 6x and 1x. Okay, we know we're kind of looking for a one in the middle here, so I'm going to start with the 3x and the 2x. Okay, and I'm going to change up colors here to add a little excitement. And my smiley faces are 3x and 2x, and so to get negative 1, I need a negative 3 and a positive 2. So that makes my signs negative 3, positive 2. Number 4, there is no GCF there, so we're good, and you will hopefully notice very quickly that those are both perfect squares. This is 9 squared, this is 2 squared, and so this factors into 9x plus 2, 9x minus 2. Great. Those are all factoring, so notice all the answers are sets of parentheses. If you've had a GCF, then make sure that that stays out front. Okay, now we're going to solve by factoring. So when we solve by factoring, we are going to factor, so the same stuff as we did on 1 through 4, but then we're going to take it a step further. So in 5, we have a GCF of 3. So we're going to take out a 3. So we have x squared minus, oh, plus 3x minus 18. 
equals zero. So now we can go ahead and factor. All we're doing is paying attention to the inside there. The three is going to stay out front. That big parentheses is going to factor into two. So it's a multiply add because the leading coefficient is one. So we want multiply to be negative 18, add to be three. So it's going to be x and x. Hopefully we can quickly see this will be six and three. So we need a positive six and a negative three. So now we need one more step here is that we need to solve for x. And if you have two things multiplied together that equals zero, one of them must be zero. So either x plus six equals zero or x minus three equals zero. We solve those pretty quickly. We get x is negative six and x is positive three. Sorry about the scrunching. All right, number six. This doesn't look like number five. It's not ready to go yet because it's not equal to zero. So the first thing we always need to do is set it equal to zero. So we're going to subtract four from both sides. So we get 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals 0. No GCF. Leading coefficient is not 1, so it's going to be a trial and error. So we know those are going to be 2x and 1x. And the last terms are either 1 and 4 or 2 and 2. So you can try all the different scenarios and eventually you'll end up with 4 and 1 and this will be a plus 4 and a minus 1 because if you check your smiley faces we will have right here will be positive 8x negative 1x. So now we set each set of parentheses equal to 0. 2x minus 1 equals 0. x plus 4 equals 0. Add 1 divide by 2. x equals 1 half and x equals negative 4. Those are your two answers. Okay, number 7. It is already equal to 0, so that's good. There's no GCF. There are two terms, so we're going to use dots. This is x squared and 1 squared, so this factors into x plus 1. x minus 1 equals 0. Set each of those equal to 0. x plus 1 equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0. So x is negative 1, x is positive 1. Number 8, 4x squared equals 100. Again, we need to be equal to 0, so we're going to subtract 100. So we have 400x squared minus 100 equals 0. Now this one, there's a, two different ways you could go about it. Those are both perfect squares, so you do have dots. You also have a GCF of 100 you can take out. Either way you do it is fine. Okay, so if we were going to factor out 100, we would have 100 times 4x squared minus 1 equals 0. And that would be dots right there. And that would split into 2x and 1. So we'll have 100 times 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1 equals 0. Set each of those equal to 0. And you get x equals 1 half and x equals negative 1 half. Okay, hope you enjoyed the little refresher of factoring. Make sure that you use this table if you're confused of what to do and when to do it. And ask your teacher if you have questions.